Yo, yo, yo. So today we are making a rib roast. This is not prime, this is choice. Whatever it was on sale at Kroger for Christmas time. Um, but I do this every few years or so and I always forget the recipe so might as well record it and put it on YouTube so I can look at it later. All right. So we have a 5.3 pounds rib roast. There's three ribs there. Honestly, this was a poorly cut by the butcher at Kroger, but that's all right. We got a stick of butter. We got some fresh rosemary. We've got salt, pepper, and um, garlic powder. And the, we got a pan. If you have one of those turkey or rib roast pans that have it raised in a pan, use it. Uh, for what I, I have never bought one. I don't know why. I always make shift something every time. But so this is gonna be my pan set up. Um, so I salted this, covered it in salt, kosher salt, about, oh, I don't know, maybe three hours ago. So you can either do that overnight, salt it overnight and leave it in the, the fridge unwrapped, or if you forget, then you can salt it. If you wanna get it, if you get it at room temperature, it'll cook a lot better. So I salted it, I'm gonna pat it dry with paper towels. And then I'm going to make this butter thing with rosemary. And I will season this with the rest of the seasonings. And then, so the, the cooking, this isn't my idea, but you put it in the oven. You multiply however many pounds times five, and you put it in the oven at 500 degrees for that amount of time. So those 5.3 pounds times five, I don't know what that comes out to exactly. So it's gonna be like 27 minutes or something. Um, and then we will shut off the oven and leave it for two hours. Without opening it, just leave it whatever temperature. And it, it's, you should reach a medium uh, temperature, about 130, 120 to 130 degrees internal temperature. So that's what we're going for. So let's pat this guy dry. The salt has pulled out a lot of moisture also cut some of the fat off, especially if you have prime, you get a prime rib, an actual prime rib. Uh, you won't need as much fat out here because it'll be a lot more marbled. But since this is a choice, I've left a good, good amount there, but I, I cut a, a decent chunk off too. Okay, so we patted it dry. Really the butcher did such a bad job. You want to stand it with the fat side up, but if I stand it, it falls over. I'm not sure how I'm gonna combat this, but we'll figure it out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and season it with a, a little garlic powder and some pepper. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna end up sitting it like this to cook the only way I can get it to balance with the fat on the top. So I got a whole stick of butter at room temperature here. We're gonna add fresh rosemary to it. There's no wrong amount for this, so do as much as you want in there. I've got several cloves of garlic that we're gonna mince up and then we're gonna add to this butter. Okay, go ahead and dump your minced garlic there into your, your butter stuff. can add some salt and pepper to it as well. Whatever. So 
So you're gonna take your butter with all the ingredients and you're gonna just mash it together with your hands. So you can see we got this butter seasoned, very fragrant with rosemary and garlic. Now we're just gonna rub our, our rib roast down with this stuff. So we got our, our butter ball here, about the size of a tennis ball maybe. Just rub it all over. So what this butter is gonna do, since it's gonna be at 500 degrees for about 25 minutes or so, it's gonna help give it a char all around. It'll, it'll give it that sear without having to be directly on the pan. You could probably do this with half a stick of butter. I think I have way too much. All right, if you got leftover butter like I do, um, just put it on the top. I got an onion here. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop. I'm gonna put it on the bottom of my pan. If you have any other vegetables, I'm definitely gonna add some garlic cloves, but if you want, add maybe potatoes or carrots, something like that to the bottom of the pan, go ahead and do that before you put it into roast. All right, we're also gonna add some cloves of garlic to the bottom of the pan, so just crush them and put them in there. And then we're also gonna add just some more rosemary to the bottom of the pan. All right, so what we got here is a bunch of onions, some rosemary, and some garlic cloves. We've got this rib roast covered in seasoned butter. And we are going to just add this rub rib roast right over this. All that butter is gonna be dripping down while it's cooking. And uh, pretty sure all of this is gonna get a nice caramelized look to it. And it'll cook it. Okay, so we got our rib roast all prepped. The pan is all ready to go. The oven's preheated at 500 degrees. So this is 5.3 pounds. We're gonna multiply that times five. Comes out to 26 and a half minutes. So we're gonna put it in there for 26 and a half minutes at 500 degrees. We're gonna cut the oven off and we're gonna leave that in the oven for another two hours. At the end of that, 26 minutes plus two hours, so two and a half hours. Our internal temp here should be between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna be our target temperature, a medium cooked uh, rib roast. So let's put it in and let's watch it burn. All right, so we've, we've carved it. I put a couple pieces on the grill to cook a little longer for some people, but this is about medium, about 125 degrees internal temperature. Um, looks pretty good. And so that was it. So just put it in the oven and leave it there and forget it and take it out. And uh, use that stuff. So anything you left in there should be already cooked nicely roasted. 
If this helps you, give it a thumbs up. And if you got any questions, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.